Welcome back to the Jack Sparrow channel. I am, of course, Captain Jack. And uh, today we're going to talk about the uh, the post the post process of the fake voting process. But um, I want to uh, I want to rant a little bit about something that bothers me. Uh, that's unrelated. Why is it? that a car manufacturer can get everything right and just really do a good job on their product and then somehow screw up a sun visor. How do you, how, how, how? The car has been around for well over a hundred years and sun visors have been around for, what, 80 of those, 90 of those? I mean, I mean they've been around forever. How do you mess up sun visor this, this late in the game? I've never had a car that had a bad sun visor, or you know, both of mine. And I don't get it. Love the car otherwise. That not so much. Anyway, I digress. Just, you know. Um anybody notice? Now oh, let's back up. The Hobbit Battle of Five Armies. You remember the part when uh, when uh, the bo boatman bard, the bowman, boatman, whatever bard, you know, comes up to Erebor after Thorin and them have fortified it, fortified the entrance. This is, this is after the elves show up, and you know they're over there in the uh, I can't remember what the, the city is called right outside Erebor, but. Um, they fortify themselves inside Erebor. And Bard is trying to treat with Thorin, and he says, Why do you wall yourself up like a, uh, you know, like a robber in his den? Of course, Thorin, you know, he counters with, because maybe I feel like, I, I feel like I'm going to be robbed. But the whole point is, he, he says, he, why, why, does, why does the king hold himself up in his, you know, like a robber in his den? Why does the king hold himself up in there like, like a robber in his den? Keep, your, keep, that, keep that in the back of your mind. If the, the path, the most recent fake voting cycle was fair and just. Why would the criminals in the district of criminals need to hold themselves up like a robber in their den? The whole Washington area there is fenced in, barbed wire, National Guard, all permanent fixtures. No more no more uh, tours. It's a ghost town. You can't leave messages on, on the uh, White House page. You can't uh, leave comments. You can't uh, do petitions anymore. All things that scream North Korea, El Salvador, or whatever, all these third world country dictatorships they they how, how much they screech about democracy 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 being a democracy first of all constitutional republic is a different form of government than a democracy democracy is not good by itself just ask the greeks during the golden age of athens and how, how good democracy was for them. Now, why would they, what are they, why, what are they afraid of? What are they afraid of? Why would they hold themselves up like robbers in their den? If it was a fair and just election. Just ask yourselves that. 
Why is censorship rampant? You know, there's a quote, uh, there's a quote from, there is a quote from the, um, can't remember how long it was. It was it was a long time ago, but there was some quote, and I'll paraphrase it, that basically said, first they came for the first they came for the J-O-O. -O. Then they came for the, there was some other group. And then they came for the journalists. And when they came for me, there was none left. Or something to that extent. And it basically means that they don't stop with one group. They don't want to censor just one group. First, it's the the morons, you know, the letter before R, Anon types. They're morons, but you shouldn't censor them. Then it's going to be the MAGA people. The, you know, the President T fans. Then it's going to be, you know, the Christians and the Jew, J-O-O's, again. They'll, they'll come after Christians and then J-O-O's. Make no mistake, they don't like either group. I do. I like both. And then they will come for anybody. Look, they're shutting down anti-farts already. They're, they're starting to do stuff about it now. They don't like them anymore. They were useful idiots. They don't like them anymore than they like, you know, any of these other groups. They will come for everybody. They will censor everybody. It, it will be a 1984 type scenario eventually. Just because you got a bunch of people screeching about, you know, this, that, and all these other things. Uh, it's an illusion. They think they're getting a free pass for right now. Won't last. Swig of water for the, uh, for the working man, as Jeremy would say. But anyway, I just wanted to wax philosophical about that. Just kind of put that out there, think about it. And uh, remember, FDR also had said that presidents are not elected, they are selected. He said that 90 years ago, 80 years ago, 85, 90 years ago, a long time ago. If he said that that far back then, how much more true is it today in 2021? So it's more about, it's less about something being stolen and more about the illusion being well it's oh, the illusion being dropped the veils being you know and the veils going away there we're peeking behind the curtain more and more and more the curtain is practically gone the veil that they used to hide behind the veil that they were hiding up behind for for a while was the Constitution. You gotta think about that. The Constitution is the veil itself. All the evil and works that are hiding behind in the shadows were, you know, they're open, they're in the open. They don't even care at this point. Anyway, let me know in the comments section below what you think about all this crazy stuff going on. Um, and what do you think about the permanent fortification, the robbers in their den of the District of Criminals? Also, if you like the video and you like the, you know, to think a little bit about stuff, drop me a like, hit the thumb button. And uh, if you haven't already and you'd like to, please subscribe. And maybe I'll 
ruminate some more about some other things. And then eventually I want to get back to the normal, normal videos in a normal format. Making fun of things is something that brings me great joy. And I'd like to get back to that too. But until next time, keep your eyes on the horizon.